guys, Tom is back with the wife. Hi guys. And uh, we are here to do a, um, it's not a review, but um, you know, honestly, when I wear fragrances, a lot of times I like to pick the ones out that the wife he likes, you know. Um, but there are some in my collection that when I wear them, I only spray them on my hand just to see what they smell like because I don't know. I find them that they could be kind of offensive to some. Um, maybe some people don't like them that much, so I'll just spray it on my hand just to kind of give myself a few whiffs here and there throughout the day. Um, and some of these kind of got that smell, whereas if the wife smells them, she'd be like, you spent money on that shit? So, um, these are all oud fragrances or fragrances that have the word oud in it. Because I actually looked up a few of these and I think one of them does not actually have oud in it. Um, but there is oud in the title of the fragrance. Therefore, it is in this video. So, if it doesn't have oud in it, so why does the title say oud? They're lying. Well, it probably could have been because sometimes oud could be um, known as like a woody, musky smell. And maybe it has that in it from other, you know notes that kind of gives it that oud effect even though it doesn't have oud in it um but it like i said all of them do have the word oud in it somewhere and um now all of them you can pretty much smell straight from the bottle um if i do have to spray it i do have my little sh tester strips waiting uh but we are gonna let the wifey decide which one of these is the best now actually i do think there is one that she's gonna uh, say that is her favorite because it's already one of her favorites anyways but some of these other ones I don't think the wife has actually smelt or if she did she probably didn't know what it was and um, obviously sometimes when we go out we're both smelling like something good so maybe it kind of got lost within her fragrance as well but let's get into it all right first off starting with the cheapest one on this list actually it's probably not the cheapest but uh, I got it for free pretty much by giving away something else, so it's the cheapest in my eyes. Um, and that is this guy right here, this Frank Olivier Oud Touch. Now this one has in the top caramel, raspberry, and orange. In the middle we got rose, libidum, patchouli, violet, and jasmine. At the base we got amber, vanilla, and musk. Now, I don't think this one has Oud in it as well, but there's probably something in here that's going to kind of give it this Oud vibe. And honestly, when I smell it, it, you know, from the cap, sometimes it could be a little offensive to some. Not everyone is going to like these fragrances. These are definitely not people pleasers. Um, you're going to really have to like Oud or have smelt it before to appreciate these. Um, so, we will start off with this one. Um, I think this one we can smell straight from the cap. But if you want me to spray it, I will definitely spray Ooh. it. I like this. I like the bottle too, but that smells really good. The thing is, though, the wifey kind of likes the more daring fragrances anyways. Uh, she does like the, the sweet stuff and the, you know, the more popular things as well. But surprisingly, she likes some of the darker fragrances mm -hmm. I have. Uh, one fragrance I actually had to get rid of because the leather in it was so strong and pungent that it, I just cannot take it. So, um, hey, if you're watching this video, you're going to get it too. You're going to understand what I'm talking about, but... Yeah, this one is very nice, you guys. Um, this Oud Touch Frank Olivier, you can probably have this for about 25 bucks. I might have to wear um, that myself. But what we'll do, just so we can kind of get a little dried on too, I'm going to spray these actually all on the test strip. We'll smell it right from the opening. We'll let it sit, and as we go along, they'll start drying down a little bit, and we'll revisit them a little bit later in the video. So here we go. Here we go. Real tester strips Show this time. The, the atomizer. Did I say it right? Here we go. Atomizer. There we go. Let's see if this one's any good. Pretty, Pretty good. Last, actually. Look at me. See, I've been watching his videos. I'm learning a ton. That one is nice. Right? Mm hmm. I can kind of get this Ooh. sweet, rosy smell on it as well, which I like. It smells like incense a little bit, too. Incense? I really There's like not this. incense in there, but the vanilla sometimes and yes. some of that musk and. Nice Listen jasmine. That one is very nice, actually. I like this a lot. I'll put it by that. Yeah, I'm actually quite shocked on this one. I like Let's that. See. All right, next up is the second cheapest on this list. And uh, I got this at Burlington. Again, Burlington's been rocking it with these Banana Republics lately. 
you can have these for about $19, and that is this guy right here, this Oud Mosaic. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but... Very simple bottle. Very simple bottle. I'll read over the notes while she's smelling them. At the top, we got plum, cardamom, and white pepper. In the middle, we got Turkish rose, saffron, <laughs> labdamum again. And at the base, we got oud, amber, and musk. So pretty similar to the Frank Olivia a little bit. But it doesn't actually smell like that one. This one's a little lighter. I don't know. You might have to spray that one. Might have to spray this. I mean, you can get a little smell from this one. It's kind of a little musky to me, but... Let's go check that sprayer again. Not, not as good bad. as the other one. The other one had a nice blast. That's this one more was of kinda... like a mist. Yeah, this one is definitely lighter than the Freak Olivier. It smells good, though. Now, this one is... As light as it is, though, this one actually performs really good because I sprayed this on my hand like two days ago and smelled pretty good throughout the entirety of the fragrance. Um, I usually got a good six to eight hours on this one easily. So even though it is a lighter fragrance, um, it still smells great um, and it has great performance. Um, so we'll put that off to the side and then we'll come back to that one in a little bit. But did you like it though? Besides it being a little lighter? I do like it, but it's not my favorite. Like if I smell something, I'm like, oh, that smells good. Um, and that one is actually a unisex, so a woman could actually wear it, mm -hmm. although I would not suggest a woman wearing it because I don't know. You don't think Unless you, you look like Carl Malone or John Stockton, <laughs> I would probably not recommend that for a woman. But hey, it's each its own, right? All right, next up is the one from Baldes Sarani, and that is this Amber Oud. Now this one, the top notes are whiskey, apple, middle notes are the Oud, violet, leather, and patchouli, and at the base we got amber, oak, and labdum. So if you think about it, the first three, actually all of these at the base are gonna have some kind of amber at the end, so it's kind of giving it this woody note as well. Um, so this is the first one, actually the second one that actually says it has Oud in it, Agarwood, which is considered oud. It's going to be like a nice musky animal type smell. This one you can actually smell straight from the bottle. And when I smell it, I kind of get that woody, leathery type musky smell. It's a little dark. It's a tough one to uh, I really appreciate. It kind of starts off with dog breath. Dog breath. And then... <laughs> So and this is one of those that you really got to. You gotta have the right. You, you cannot one. blind buy this one, okay? Um, unless you, maybe unless you're wearing a like uh, a really nice leather leather jacket, and maybe people kind of won't tell the difference if you're wearing spray or if it's a fresh new leather jacket. Because this is a tough one to like, you guys. Um, actually, now that I think about it, this actually does smell like a brand new leather purse, like, like fresh, like. Just came in a mail or just bought at the store. Well, let me spray it. See if oh, the does. spray does anything different. I'm like, I know. That's but it, it's kinda... it's a really harsh. Now the leather that I got rid of, this is not as bad as that one, I don't think. But this yeah. is a. Actually, it smells a lot better once you spray it. Look, now like now that I'm it, spraying it, it smells better than in that bottle. From the cap. Um, Okay, there is whiskey in here, too. I'm not sure if you're getting any sweetness. That would be from the apple, if there is. There is a I'm smelling like a touch of sweetness. It's not too much, but it's a nice, fresh sweetness. If anything, it's not like a sugary, candy sweetness to me. It's like a fresh sweetness, but... You know what I'm going to say? It actually just smells like a sweet drink. You know, if you ever get like a... Sweet whiskey drink, yeah, maybe, or a like, sweet whiskey brandy, or... Yeah, like... With some leather Like, if you mix your... You know, hard liquor with like a juice, that's what it smells like. Um, but I take back that dog breath comment. Like from the bottle, it kind of smells like dog breath. But once you sprayed it on here, it actually smells a lot better. Like I actually like this fragrance now. Oof. Now this one is definitely um, probably in the top two as far as bottle design and just how elegant this bottle is. But this bottle is a heavy monster. You drop this on someone's head when they ain't looking, they're going to fill it. But this one, like I said, it's it, it does smell better once you spray it. A lot better. But this is definitely not for everyone. Um, I mean, 
You can't go around, like, honestly, I don't see no one under, like, 25 enjoying this. Like, a woman. Like, you gotta be a more mature woman to probably appreciate this as well. Like, you're not gonna think of no clubbing type fragrance, no sweet, no just nice people pleasing. This one's a little tougher, but it's a pretty dang good fragrance, actually. So, it's that one. Again, sometimes the bad thing about these strips is that they don't replicate real skin. So hopefully these don't lose their actual smell um, while they're sitting there. Uh, but next up, we got from Al Zafaran, and that is this Oud 24, this Arabian company that makes this nice, beautiful fragrance. Now, this one in the opening has dark chocolate, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. In the middle, we got fruity notes, spicy notes, gardenia, ylang ylang, and Jasmine at the base, we got patchouli, oud, incense, sandalwood, and amber. There goes that amber again. Going to be a nice incense smell later on in the fragrance as well. But straight from the bottle, you can smell it. And that is a damn good one. I like Ooh. that one. I like this a lot. That is probably straight from the bottle. That's the best one so far. It definitely I think she's going to like something different that we got later on coming up. But so I like far, that. I think that one straight from the bottle smells the best. Oh, like, I can get some sort of, like, like, not floral, but it definitely smells like something. Well, it is floral. I mean, it could be the ylang ylang and the jasmine and this, oh. I'm not sure what this gardenia is. Is that like a like, garden yeah. type flower or something? I don't know. A, it is a flower. I don't know what that is, but. It, it smells super fresh. You know, like, when you go outside and you smell, like, fresh, I guess, flowers. It just smells fresh. It smells really good. So you, it, it's dark and it's kind of fresh. You got this dark from that dark chocolate, giving it a little bit of bitterness. Bergamot, you know, that's going to be that citrus. Some spicy notes. Again, that could be cinnamon and, or clove or something like that. Usually when they say spicy notes, it's usually what they're trying to say. But cinnamon, clove, anise, star anise, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I definitely. Ooh, I like this. But this stuff is potent too, you guys. Um... Maybe no two. summer or spring type two wearing with this one. Two sprays is all you need. Ooh, um, nice, like elegant sweater. Nice, elegant overcoat is going to be nice with this one. Nice pea coat. Outdoors or a nice, you know, maybe a nice sexy date night fragrance. Definitely. But this stuff is bomb. You guys, if you guys never smelt this, get your nose on it. I think this is actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a clone on a Tom Ford fragrance. Uh, I think it's called Black Orchid, and I've never smelt that one. But if this is anything like it, it's a damn good fragrance. Yeah, I was gonna it say probably it performs just as good, or if not better. Mm -hmm. And this is only like 35 bucks. So 35 bucks. <clears throat> All right. Last but not least is the one that I think the wifey will probably like the most because this is one of her favorite fragrances in my collection already, as is. Uh, but because this is a Oud uh, video, uh, we're going to include this one. Now, this is the other one that does not have Oud in it, but it does have some woody notes. So that can kind of give it that Oud smell. But this one here, you guys, probably the best looking bottle in this whole group. Beautiful. It's that Al Hermain Amber Oud. The bottle is just so dang nice. Now, in the top, we got rosemary and bergamot and cedar. In the middle, we got spices, cedar, and how do you pronounce that word? Guyuk. Guyak, Goyak, Goyak wood, wood. At the base, we got resins, amber, and musk. There goes that amber. All these have amber in it somehow, some way. G wood. And man, this right, this yeah. stuff is just so good. It's smoky. It's woody. It's like outdoorsy. Wow. It's like spicy. The cap is heavy too. You literally could kill someone with this thing if you threw it hard enough. It is everything about this bottle just says elegance. It's, it, it looks high quality. Like it has beautiful craftsmanship. It's like almost a gold. Almost looks like a gold plating on that bottle. It's like just like this very thin, but it doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like actual metal. Mm -hmm. um, the bottle is very nice. The juice on the back is. Obviously, some kind of weird color. Is amber. that like an orange or amber? Yeah, amber. To give it that amber look. We will spray this one, but you should spray it on. Man, this stuff is um. Well, we'll do it on the paper just to give it a kind of a fair fight. That's true. 
See, that oh, has a nice atomizer. This thing sprays like a damn boatload of juice. Oh, man, that that resinous smell, that spices, man, it kind of gives off this, almost that star anise type spice too as well. I'm not sure if that is in there, but getting a little bit of rosemary, a nice little fresh herb up at the top, whatever, but man, that, man, that, um, that one is a tough one to beat. So now what we are going to do. We can give each one of these one more smell. Now, obviously, the first one that we sprayed has definitely had a little bit of time to kind of dry down a little bit. So we'll start from that one again. Again, that is this Oud Touch. And we will smell this again, see if it's kind of evolved a little bit. I like this bottle a lot. This one has definitely changed a lot, actually. Um, it's almost kind of like this sweet... It almost gives me like this sweet cherry vibe or something like that. Maybe it could be from the rose or whatever, like this florally note, but it's gotten like a little sweeter, um, I think, but not like Ooh. sugary sweet or candy sweet, just like a floral, like, like a, a, I don't know if that makes any sense, a floral sweetness, but there's something sweet going on in there, uh, but it's definitely changed a lot actually since the first initial spray, which I actually like those pretty good dry down on that one next up is the banana republic oud mosaic again nice lovely bottle mm -hmm. it's just plain nice and simple very clean bottle um this one i would say this one hasn't really evolved yet pretty much smells the same kind of light um still kind of woody and musky and stuff like that and pretty good i like it it's probably that Turkish rose. You guys ever smelt the Turkish rose in your life? This is very simple. Right, so here's up Amber Oud from Bad Sarani. Man, that one again. Got that nice leathery notes to it. Um, it's kind of woody and musky. Kind of getting like this light whiskey vibe not really getting that amp that apple that much no more that kind of where we said earlier was kind of like a crisp fresh type smell on this one but that leather is still pretty popping in there i think that leather and mm -hmm. it's kind of musky it's pretty damn good i like that one i like that one too next up is that oud 24 Man, this one is still popping off this paper, you guys. Again, you really don't need many sprays now. If you, if you really like, if you, if you really got to go heavy on this sprayer, do it outdoors, mm -hmm. and then kind of you know wait outside a little bit with that breeze, you know, kind of brush a little bit of that off. Because if you spray this and just jump right into a car or something like right. that, it's gonna be pretty potent. But it's still pretty strong off this paper. Getting like those, um, probably that Ooh. chocolatey, that them florally notes that we said earlier. We got them spicy notes, a few Ooh. fruity notes. I'm not sure what fruits are in here, but it that is like pretty nice. It could be some sort of orange or like some kind of spiced orange, some dark. Ooh. But that one is good, you guys. Um, again, two sprays really is all you need, but if you do got to go heavy, do it outdoors first, then go inside. Last but not least is this guy that we both think will probably be the winner. But, man, I don't know. That Oud24 is kind of sneaking up on here. Let's smell that one more time. See if it's changed a little bit. Oh. There we go. Beautiful bottle. Oh, I mean, it's like this... Okay, those spices, I'm thinking it's got to be some kind of star anise or something like that. Because it's kind of giving me this licorice vibe, this dark licorice and then you got the smokiness and this muskiness. Oh, man, I don't know. It, it's really tough between those two. Um, I think I know my winner. Man. Um, 
Well, we'll both start off with our least favorite of the five, and I think I know what mine is. Uh, it would have to be this one, and I think the wife would agree on this one. Yep, that was mine too. Um, and not because it's a bad smell, it's because it's just not popping as much as the others. Um, mm -hmm. It smells good, you guys. It's just Very light. a little light. Even from this bottle as I'm smelling it now, but I sprayed like three sprays on there. can barely smell it That's a at all. office fragrance, right? That will be a pretty good office fragrance because it's not too okay. strong. It's not going to be offensive. Mm -hmm. um, like, even if someone doesn't like oud, it's not so strong where it could be off-putting. So it's like, you know, I, if someone doesn't like it. I think that, um, like, if you're in an office and you get, like, a little breeze because sometimes there's fans or whatever going, people will definitely get a hint of it, but it won't be anything like, oh, my gosh, it smells really good. All right. Now, sec the fourth best is really a toss-up between two. Fourth? Yeah, the fourth best. Okay, so that's where me and the wife differ a little bit. Fourth, she likes the Amber Oud is her fourth favorite. And mine would be the Oud Touch. This would be my fourth. And then most likely, her third is going to be this one. And my third is going to be that Amber Oud. So now it basically just comes down to the top two. So maybe you want to smell them one more time side by side. and I already or you already know. know. I do. Let me smell them both one more time. All right, so this is the Oud 24. Oud 24. Oh, man, that rose in here is, or those floral notes in here is really nice. There's a little bit of fruity notes. I'm kind of starting to get a little fruity notes here now, like little fruity. Oh, smell it one more time. Amber Oud. Amber Oud out here, man. Oh man, so one is like a dark, rosy, dark chocolate smell. This one is more of a woody, spicy. Man. <laughs> That's hard, oh, right? Oh man, that is. But I think I, uh, I made it, my. If I had to choose, man, if, if someone said they got to take one of these away from me and only leave me one, I would have to say Oud 24 is my second favorite. Followed by Al Hermain, Amber Oud is the number one overall fragrance in these top five. Uh, wifey, what do you think? Same thing? That's your number one? This is my number one. <laughs> wow. Um, I really thought the other one would have been her number one because that's is... usually her favorite out of my whole collection anyways. But now, she might have to not start looking at that one as often. So, obviously, we're both pretty much... Uh, kind of on the same ballpark as far as which one we liked the most and you know where they landed in the top five um, they were all pretty close mm -hmm. but there you guys have it again amber um, the uh, not all these fragrances are for everyone now if I had to say one do not blind buy it would be this amber one because it's the opening is kind of harsh um, and when you smell it straight from the bottle it might be kind of off-putting right when you smell it from the bottom you might be like oh this smells like straight shit shit dog breath <laughs> straight nastiness but give it a little bit of time let all these fragrances grow on you don't throw away a fragrance just after one spray you know you got to give it some time but all these are definitely pretty good they're uh all very affordable the most expensive one on here was 50 and that was at al Hermain. but you can actually have it for a little cheaper now probably like about 35 now so all these are pretty affordable these are all oud, or they have the word oud in it, yep. and we all picked our favorites. So, with that being said, we are going to get up out of here. Hope you guys have a great day. Sorry for this 25-minute long video, but man, hopefully we're entertaining enough. Hopefully you guys come back and see us again, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later, alright? So, like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out. Yeah.